Welcome to a special edition of Entertainment Tonight Canada. Tonight, it's all about fashion with a capital F. That's right. We are talking red carpets, runways, and supermodels. Oh, my. And to kick things off, we enlisted fashion magazine Sarah Castleman to break down the biggest and most unforgettable fashion headlines of the year so far. When Kim and Kanye landed the cover of Vogue, it shook fashion feathers everywhere. Kim is not notoriously a fashion girl before she met Kanye. Of course, with her reality star roots. Look at this jacket. It says N, and then it says Go West. Stop it. How cute is that? This was for the April cover of Vogue. Kanye was embracing Kim and she had on the most drop-dead gorgeous long van wedding gown. Uh-huh, honey. When it came to this Vogue cover, there was really a great divide. One side, love. I'm so happy for her when she told me I was just speechless. One side, hate. Take Sarah Michelle Gellar's tweet. Well, I guess I'm canceling my Vogue subscription. Who is with me? At the end of the day, Vogue really did have the last laugh because they moved copies off the newsstands. Reportedly, they sold over 250,000 copies of this issue with Kim and Kanye. Kate Moss has hit her own fashion headline this year when she turned the big 4-0 on January 16th. Kate was discovered at JFK Airport when she was just 14 years old and her career quickly took off. Kate really ushered in a whole new fashion trend in the mid-90s with heroin chic. This was taking things in the fashion world in a whole different direction because we were used to seeing these healthy, vibrant supermodels of the 80s. The cool thing is, is that now Kate is influencing the next generation of models like Cara Delevingne. So it shows that the Kate effect is still in full effect. One of the most tragic headlines of the year was when designer Loren Scott took her own life this past March at the age of 49. Her company was reportedly millions in debt, but with no note left behind, what motivated Loren to commit suicide remains unclear. She was an extraordinary stylist um, and designer. I mean, a tremendous force in fashion. And it's, you know, it's just one of those, you, tragedies of tragedies of tragedies. She was also known for her longtime relationship with rocker Mick Jagger. The two started dating in 2001 and she left her estate, her entire estate, to Jagger worth reportedly roughly nine million. In his first interview after Loren's death, Mick spoke with Matt Lauer on the Today Show about his late lover. Uh, I'm doing okay. It's, it's difficult, you know, very hard year. But I got back into it by working on touring with the Stones in Europe. The fashion world came out to pay their respects to this much-loved talent. Celebrities like Sarah Jessica Parker, Julianne Moore, um, editors like Anna Wintour all came out to pay tribute to Loren Scott. 